Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to continue exploring Tailwind CSS. We will dive into how you can supercharge your Tailwind CSS with a powerful plugins uh, showcasing typography, Daisy UI and Tailwind Animate. We will explore installation, visual demos, uh, customization and performance tips. Everything you need to know to build uh, beautiful and scalable designs with ease. Let's jump right in. So what are those plugins? They are extensions uh, that add extra utilities, uh, components or functionality to Tailwind CSS. Instead of writing everything from scratch, uh, plugins uh, let you add quickly a better form styles, uh, rich uh, typography, animations or even full UI components. They save time, keep your code clean and help you build a more powerful, consistent designs much faster. Okay, so first uh, let's go to Tailwind CSS um, website and here uh, we need to select uh, the version 3.4.17 just to get the previous uh, version of the docs. But in our example today we're gonna use um, Tailwind CSS uh, version 4. So let's go here and uh, search for plugins. Okay, here is it. The way we are gonna install plugins is gonna be a bit different uh, than it is mentioned here because in the new version, in version 4 of Tailwind CSS, uh, they change uh, the way you import uh, plugins to your uh, project. So let's scroll down and take a look at the official plugins. One of them we're gonna use today is gonna be Typography. Also, Forms is a pretty cool uh, plugin which actually helps you to design to style your forms just with a few utility classes, so you just don't need to write everything from scratch. Also, they have a uh, plugin such as Aspect Ratio, Container Queries, uh, here is the examples how they work. Um, and also, you can even create your uh, custom um, plugins. So these are official plugins uh, for Tailwind CSS, but there are much more which is not official to Tailwind CSS. One of them we're gonna use today is gonna be Daisy UI. And Daisy UI is actually not only a plugin, it's a full UI library which imports as a plugin to your project. And by the way, if you want to have a bigger overview for a Daisy UI library, uh, you can uh, check out a video on my channel where I compare three different UI libraries. I will also um, uh, put a link in the description to this video so please uh, go there and uh, take a look at the your Daisy UI library in the full scale. So as I mentioned before, we're gonna use today three plugins. Uh, that's gonna be Typography, that's gonna be Animate and um, Daisy UI library. So let's uh, go and install it to our project and implement some cool stuff with that plugins. Okay, so this is my demo setup. Uh, this is React project with Wheat um, and also I've created uh, three components uh, where I'm gonna showcase Animate uh, plugin, Daisy UI and typography. But first to be able to use these plugins we need to install them and for that you need to run such a command so npm install Tailwind CSS typography num daisy UI and Tailwind CSS animate. And then you need to go to your index.css file and here you need to declare your plugins in that way but uh, you have to remember that this is available only in Tailwind 4. In previous Tailwind versions you need to configure your Tailwind config to be able to use these plugins. And also Tailwind animate uh, supposed to be imported with the classic import. Let's go to our first guy, typography demo. It's a very simple component uh, which uh, showcase how how you can utilize um, typography plugin. So here are two components, uh, before and after. Here we use article uh, tag. And inside this article tag, uh, we have title and subtitle. Did you spot any difference between them two? It's actually only one utility class, which change everything. And the utility class is pros, uh, you can see it here. So I just added that pros uh, class and also some um, uh, responsiveness utility. And that's it. And uh, let's take a look how it uh, behaves in browser. So two examples before and after. So here uh, at the left, you can see that we just have a normal um, text style, but here we have highlighted um, title and we have different style of subtitle. So it wasn't required to write a bunch of uh, utility classes to style that uh, card in that way. We just add pros and we have ready made typography which makes your life much easier. That's pretty cool. The next one to go is Animate Demo. Now, for that purpose, I created a simple card component uh, here. So let's take a look at it in browser. As you see, we have um, image, we have some title, subtitle, and we have that um, button, book a test drive. 
So let's do the next thing. Let's try animate uh, this button so it will bounce in this card. Just some simple animation. And let's see how we can do it with animate plugin. So and basically super easy. We just need to add two utility classes. Let's add them here. Animate bounce, animate delay 500. So you can specify any value you want. So let's take a look now in the browser. And here how it works. As you see, super easy, just a few utility classes and you have some elements animated, very easy. But if you want to deep dive into more advanced animations on your website, I will recommend to watch my previous video on the channel where I showcase a Framer Motions library. I will attach link to this video in the description so please take a look. And the last one for today is going to be a Daisy UI demo. So what we have here. In that part you can see the card component which we iterate through the items here. So we will have three cards lined up and in the grid in the one row. So uh, let's take a look um, in the browser. And here they are. So you see that each card has title, subtitle and button which is uh, on hover changes the background color. And also each card has some shadow. And what is the trick here? So let's go back to IDEA. So it looks like it's a normal component styled with a Tailwind CSS, but there is one uh, thing I need to mention. So this component I didn't build myself. I just uh, brought it from a Daisy UI library. Let me show you how. To pick the right component uh, you need for your app, you need to go to a um, Daisy UI website and here let's go to components. There are 61 components. So you can see there are accordion, alert, avatar, calendar, badge, dog, divider, and a lot of them. But we need one specific one, which is a card. So let's click on that. And here is it. Uh, so there are different examples of the card with the image, uh, like subscription, uh, column of the card. And this is the one we need. So let's press on the JSX uh, tab. And here is the markup we need. So we just can press to copy and paste it to our project. That easy. Let's go back to the full list. So uh, here you can, for example, select buttons. Here are a huge variety of uh, different buttons. So you can uh, select the one which fit uh, to your project. Also, you can browse component uh, here in that um, component tree. And that's it for today in terms of uh, plugins demo. So uh, today we take a look at the typography plugin, Tailwind Animate plugin and Daisy UI. So here are these examples. Also, you can create your custom uh, plugins. For that, you need uh, to create a Tailwind config and there you can add um, your own utility classes. That could be a nice uh, move uh, for styles reusability. And besides that, you can overwrite uh, some already existing utility classes. And here is another tip. Uh, I prepared a list of uh, another four plugins, uh, which I recommend uh, for you to take a look. Um, they are quite popular nowadays. And the first one is going to be a twin macro. It allows to use a CSS and JS, the same like styled components. The second one is going to be Tailwind uh, Themer. It's uh, very helpful for handling themes. Third one is Grid Areas, uh, which helps you to build easily grid layouts. And the last one is Headless UI for interactive components. And here are five recommendations from my side if you use uh, Tailwind plugins. Uh, so the first one is um, use Tailwind just in time mode. Uh, it is enabled by default in Tailwind version 4 plus. It generates CSS only for classes actually used, uh, keeping bundles lean. The second one is going to be always check plugin compatibility with Tailwind uh, versions. Uh, for example, Daisy UI uh, version 5 fully supports Tailwind uh, version 4. Um, the third one, watch for potential class name conflicts uh, be between uh, plugins uh, just to not overwrite some important uh, utility classes. The fourth one is going to be customized plugins via your Tailwind config to keep your styling clean and performant. Uh, the one I mentioned uh, before, the way how to create your custom plugins. And the last one, just uh, regularly update plugins for new features and performance improvements. And that's a wrap up. I hope this video was helpful to you. Now let me know in the comments uh, whether you like it or not. And also don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more dev insights. Happy coding and see you in the next one.